So, hello everyone. So what I'm planning these days is to basically start a set of discussion on the, the introduction uh, to topology. Okay, so introduction to topology. Uh, and in this uh, set of discussions, I will be in this course, uh, I'll try my best to, to cover the all important and foundational aspects of point set topology point set topology and you know some of important aspects from the algebraic topology actually so this is what that I'm gonna uh, basically do moreover um, these set of discussions are going to be uh, detailed and uh, extensive okay so in other words that we will try to cover you know, you know, all important, uh, you know, definitions, theorems, visualizations, examples, actually, uh, illustrations, okay. Um, and um, uh, rather than another thing that, you know, I have, you know, kind of thought of is rather than uh, uploading really in the long lectures, I'm going to focus on taking ideas, okay. And for each idea, example or theorem and whatever, uh, I will I will I will upload the short videos actually. So I'm going to focus on making really the short videos. The short videos are going to be you know really of the five to ten minutes actually. Okay, because I I, I really believe that you know in a in a in a long lecture it's pretty much difficult actually to concentrate actually well in short videos you know it's really um, you know it's really easy to concentrate actually okay so <clears throat> what we're gonna do uh, I would like to really treat this course or narrate this course as a story actually okay so this is what that is going to make things interesting actually I would like to make this as a story so so maybe a, maybe a drama actually, okay? Um, we know that in dramas, you have really scenes, okay? And you have dialogue, that's scene number one, and then scene number two, and that's scene number say, three, and dialogues. But these scenes are really connected with each other actually, okay? So it's like, uh, uh, it, it's, it's like the scene number two really depends on what happened in the scene number one. And, and you know, and, and, and the scene number two is really becomes a context for scene number three, actually, and so on and so forth, actually. So what do I mean analogously is really I would like to, you know, um, uh, you know, I would like to discuss basically uh, the notion of the topology and the ideas of the topology as an evolving process actually. Topology as an evolving phenomenon. Okay, as an as an evolving course actually. Okay. In which you may, you know, you can you can treat the chapters like uh, the scenes. Okay. And 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 really the the dialogues in the scene. Okay, really the dialogues in the scene are are say the definitions and theorems and examples, etc. Okay, in other words, as the scenes are connected with each other. So when you watch a movie you know, the story evolves over the time actually, okay? And like, okay, you see scenes and the scenes are basically conveying in a story actually. So I would like to do the precisely same, okay? We like to, we will we'll take a particular chapter, for example, and I'll try to really narrate that the contents of that chapter as a as an evolving phenomena. In other words that, okay, if you if you have a definition, you know, why you have this definition actually, okay? So it's like why the definitions 
that we have are the way they are actually. Okay, why the definitions are the way they are. Okay, we would like to talk about really, uh, you know, the motivation for the definition. Every single definition will try to build an intuition for the for, for for the particular definition and then we'll try to turn that motivation or the intuition into a, 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 a rigorous definition actually a really a, you know a rigorous definition actually okay and then you know uh, once you have this notion or the definition actually then we'll ask the questions about those definitions. So we'll ask questions about about those definitions. Okay, and those questions are basically going to be the theorems, or maybe the lemmas, okay, or maybe the propositions. Actually. Okay, and then. We will all, you know, um, uh, you know, all motivate the definitions, or maybe, you know, uh, uh, look at the definitions and theorems, and lemmas and proposition, you know, in very much in a visual manner, actually, okay, visual manner, in a motivational kind of a manner, actually, okay. It is really said, actually, that you know, topology is kind of a course, and I really believe it, actually that topology is it is, is a kind of a course that that you can that you can teach and learn entirely through pictures actually okay so entirely through um, uh, pictures okay and you know illustrations actually but since we have to also learn uh, things a bit rigorously, so we're going to focus on rigor as well, actually. Okay, um, but the pictures and lots and lots and lots of pictures are going to be one of the um, one of the key uh, aspect that we're going to focus actually. So um, I hope this is going to be a, an exciting course. It's going to be um, a course in which uh, you learn lots of uh, new ideas and um, you will learn lots of uh, interesting way of thinking actually, you know, uh, you know, you know it's, it's, it's also said actually that, you know, topology is, is also a way to learn, you know, that how mathematicians think actually, okay? So it's, it's a way also to make sense of, you know, uh, you know, to develop the skills of the mathematical thinking actually, okay? So, I'm going to try my best to be more and more visual, more and more illustrative uh, about uh, the abstract definitions and theorems, actually. And I'll really talk about um, that why the definitions and theorems and the things in the topology are the way they are, actually. Okay, why they are not some, you know, other way actually. So for example, we're going to talk about the topology of, uh, you know, the definition, for example, of a topology, then why the top definition of topology is the way it is actually, why you need these three assumptions are, are the axioms actually uh, for a set to be uh, topology, why, why, why you don't some other ax axioms actually in order to, you know, uh, define a topology, okay. Uh, so, so this is what that we're going to do actually. Okay. So in our in our next part, um, in our next uh, uh, video or a discussion, I will really talk about the bigger picture of topology. Okay. Bigger picture of the topology. By the way, uh, I would also like to mention one thing actually that. If you really want to follow the material that you know we're going to cover, actually, then um, I'm going to refer uh, to to 
very interesting and good books actually there are lots of standard texts like Mankaran's actually but I'm gonna focus uh, on two books that I really like uh, one is uh, pure and applied topology so it's like pure and applied topology or maybe I think it's not really the title is not really pure and applied and the title is um, introduction to topology introduction so these are the books you know that you can follow actually you know to follow the stuff that I'm going to cover so introduction to topology uh, by uh, you know Colin Adams and uh, and you know Robert Fisanza actually so it's, it's by Colin Adams and Robert Fisanza. So what's a good thing about uh, this book is that like this book is filled with the with the pictures and you know you know visualizations. Okay. And uh, very interestingly, it also, you know, uh, talks about several applications actually of uh, of topology. Okay, so we'll also try to cover those applications as well. Actually, okay, so the, the focus on um, uh, applications of topology, uh, in particular, the applications, for example. Uh, for the geographic information systems, for example, uh, you know, applications to understanding DNA, maybe application, some applications to cosmology, and some applications to economics. Okay, so I'm, I really promise that, you know, what I'm going to do basically is uh, to not only um, take the idea and visualize it build an intuition for the idea, but we will also talk about the applications of those ideas as well, actually. Um, I hope that you're going to find this uh, set of discussions exciting, and, and I hope that you're going to learn something out of it. So see you in a bit um, uh, about the discussion about the bigger picture of the topology, what the topology is all about, actually. So, yeah, thank you.